I'm not sure how I missed this, but last month, Marjorie Taylor Greene, my favorite member of Congress, very heavily implied that Guam, which is a U.S. territory, is a foreign country. I'm a regular person, and I wanted to take my regular person, normal, everyday American values, which is we love our country, we believe our hard-earned tax dollars should just go for America, not for what? China, Russia, Everybody the Middle East, Guam. Long... Okay, not super surprising given that she is a complete imbecile. Uh, however, in response to her seemingly thinking that Guam is a foreign country, uh, members of the U.S. National Guard from Guam decided to extend an olive branch and do something nice. Rather than calling her stupid, rather than berating her for being a member of Congress who doesn't know that Guam is a U.S. territory, they actually decided to be nice. They took the high road and they delivered cookies to her office. Now, you're seeing video of this on the screen. I don't know that I could play the clip because the audio featured here is likely copyrighted music, but I mean, you get the point. You can see that they're being incredibly polite, talking to her staffers. They're trying to figure out when she's going to be back and whether or not they'll be able to deliver the cookies to her in person or if they should just leave them with staffers. They're being cordial, Certainly, they're not trying to intimidate Marjorie Taylor Greene or her staffers. There's not really anything negative that you can say about this. They're being perfectly pleasant, and they just want to deliver cookies to a member of Congress. So hopefully, she uh, is maybe encouraged to educate herself. However, since it is Marjorie Taylor Greene, once she found out about the cookies that they wanted to deliver, she complained to the Pentagon about this. She complained that they were delivering cookies to her and she was offended by this. <laughs> As Justin Vallejo of Independent reports, Marjorie Taylor Greene complained to the Pentagon that the Guam National Guard, quote, ambushed her office as a political tool to intimidate Congress and called for them to be sent home. In a letter to the Secretary of Defense, Lloyd Austin, Ms. Green said the stunt of the National Guard delivering cookies after she confused Guam for a foreign country was part of a dangerous and troubling trend of the armed forces intimidating civilians, harassing Congress members, and attacking journalists. Guam's congressional delegate Michael San Nichols, leading more than two dozen National Guard troops to ambush my office unannounced and subsequently video record my staff without solicitation or consent, Ms. Green said. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, I don't remember her asking for David Hogg's consent when she was following him around, harassing him and videotaping him. But if National Guard members from Guam try to deliver cookies to your office, that's bad. And she wants them removed. Now, she kind of alluded to the fact that there is uh, a greater presence of National Guard members on the Capitol. But what she is failing to point out here is that that is the direct result of her and Donald Trump inciting an insurrection. They wouldn't be there if you hadn't lied about the election and encouraged those folks to do that. But this, this is the straw that broke the camel's back. The US National Guard has been there intimidating them. I thought that right-wingers love the troops, by the way. And the fact that she got cookies delivered to their office and they filmed it, terrible. Marjorie Taylor Greene is such a fucking clown. The fact that she is a member of Congress is an international embarrassment. It's not just embarrassing as an American, just as a human being. This level of stupidity is, it just, it doesn't bode well for the long-term survival of the human race. Like, <laughs> what the fuck? Now, uh, the Guam delegate, responded uh his name is michael san nichols as the article states uh he says that the visit was part of a broader tour in which they visited multiple house leaders and he insisted that this wasn't them using the military service uh or military members as political props this wasn't meant to intimidate they were quite literally trying to be polite to her it was a gesture in goodwill hey you're kind of stupid so uh, let us bring you some cookies. Maybe you'll learn about us and acknowledge that uh, we're Americans just like you. Except she didn't take it that way. Now, um, some conservatives are trying to defend Marjorie Taylor Greene by saying, you know what, actually she's onto something because 
U.S. National Guard members, they're supposed to be apolitical. That's a joke. But they're supposed to be apolitical. And by doing this act, delivering cookies to a member of Congress, that is inherently political. So she's right to denounce what they did and to call for their removal. But uh, the delegate to Guam responded in an interview on CNN, and he said the most reasonable thing ever. They are critical of you, an elected official, using military service members as they see it as political props. What do you say to that, to that criticism? That criticism is unfounded. We were not at all using military service members for political props. I was taking my guardsmen on a tour of the Capitol and we stopped by several members' offices and we delivered some goodies. Um, cookies should never be considered a political prop and neither should our military. Um, but goodwill is absolutely something that we wish to extend from Guam to everybody. And my guardsmen wish to extend the same and we're very honored to be able to facilitate that. They were just trying to be nice. But she went straight Karen on them. Unbelievable. Well, I shouldn't say that. It is believable. Uh, it's probably the dumbest thing that Marjorie Taylor Greene has done to date, but I don't want to try to rank it because she will definitely try to outdo this in about a week or so. So there's nothing left to be said. Marjorie Taylor Greene is so deluded that she believes bringing cookies to her office is an attempt to intimidate her. How fragile these right-wingers who are supposed to support the troops are.